they've had to force the issue that they've had the, the problem. So not Predators look like they're going to be starting off on the defense with that kind of a lineup, if I think. Yeah, they're on the defense. Doesn't even make sense, Jordan. You cannot even eat that when you have a, a glass thing on your head. You know what I mean? Like, how, is there like a, a hole for noodles? Just don't question it. Yeah, okay. I give up. So, Alter Ego, as you said, on attack. Knock Predators on defense. Let's see how Alter Ego can go. They really need to come through this with the convincing first two points, I feel. Get their momentum back. Yep. And right now, at least they're through the gates. Yes, it's the dive comp out here from Alter Ego. And so far, not working out for them as August 9th does find PB and Jam. So that's a significant chunk of damage gone for Alter Ego. And uh, this is a little bit strange. The Sad Boy is playing the Zenyatta, which is definitely not what we would have expected. Xiao Bao on Diva. So. I don't know what's going on in the Alter Ego camp, but definitely they've changed things up. And well, for better or for worse, at this point I'm going to have to go with the ladder because that definitely hasn't worked out for Alter Ego. No, it certainly has not getting caught. Really, even though they dove in, half the kills came to Alter or against Alter Ego players who were on the wrong side of the fence. Yep. So yep. it was not just very not split. Great. Again, it was very split from Alter Ego. They're not getting the coordination that they need to out of this dive comp and not Predators. They're taking advantage of it, Ben. And that is really not a very good sign early on in the piece, particularly with you know these players changing their roles and that kind of thing, that, that Alter Ego are going to have a good time here on the attack of Hanamura. But here they go for their second push, so we'll yeah. see if they can make it work. As Tracer says, let's try this again. And again, Alter Ego going to fail their attack here to the first point of Hanamura. They have been destroyed. Mm. Joker finding three. Well, this is looking far too easy for Knock Predators, isn't it? It's uh, it's getting even worse as the this series progresses. Alter Ego, you know, it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least they challenged on control, and then Hybrid. It sort of was a bit more one-sided to Knock Predators, and now this is looking incredibly one-sided for Knock Predators. August 9th has so much positioning. He's got so much confidence, and a pulse bomb coming up very shortly. This could be real bad. Yeah, they've got a good minute here of ultimates against them as well. That's going to make life real difficult. And as you said, August 9th, ready to go. Where's that pulse bomb going? Won't even need to use it on a Rex, sir. Zhao Bao does manage to demake well, Oily, but, uh, well, indeed. Alter Ego has walked into what is essentially a blender there. They put themselves in a confined space, and then See ya. Noz gets his blender blade out, or the dragon blade at that point, and just decides to go crazy. And now we've got uh, an Alter Ego smoothie. I wonder what it tastes like. Probably not very nice. Oh, well. 1.30 on the clock now, Jordan. Not a lot of time. And they haven't looked convincing at all. Not even not even a hope, really, is what we've seen uh -oh. here from uh, from Altigo. Not even a glimmer. Uh, and I want them to prove me wrong here. On to the point is Trace. But uh, one Tracer is not enough, unfortunately. And again, they're going to get themselves caught out here inside that little room. Trance comes out. Zhao Bao on the point now, but should get pushed down. Now the ultimate's coming out from Knock Predators. There's the Transcendence. Joker's thrown out his as well. So, from here on out, maybe Alter Ego can do something with their last minute. Oily do, does still have the self-destruct out here for Knock Predators, which is going to be great as a stall tactic, if even necessary, because Alter Ego still don't really have control of this team fight, as far as I'm concerned. PB and Jam will go down as well. Joker gets traded out, but there is the self-destruct out from Noz, which is going to buy a little bit more time for the respawns to come across. And Oily does manage to get back into the mech, which is pretty critical when you're going up against a Tracer. Sometimes it's a little difficult. Mm. But uh, even that time ticking away here for Alter Ego, I think Knock Predators are going to try and contest this. They're going to jump back onto the point. It should theoretically be a little bit more difficult for the defenders at this point, all things being even. Well, PB and Jam's gone on to that Widowmaker and dueling up against Special Kid. <laughs> it's not going to work out at all. Special Kid also against Sad Boy, who seemed to have no idea that there was a Zenyatta behind him. Alter Ego really, really under the pump right now. And, well, that looked good for a moment, but Joker still had his jump available. And overtime's going to tick away now for Alter Ego, but I don't think they're even going to be able to cap out this first point by the looks of things. No. They got close. Trace has found two. Rexer now on the point. But you can see three players make that two here from the Knock Predators, going to try and do their best. Overtime ticking through, it's going to get faster and faster and faster. Alter Ego theoretically should have a spawn advantage here. That may allow them to grab the point. Whoa. It's going to be close, Just. and they did it. Well, okay, they've still got four minutes now on the clock, but that was not at all confident in my opinion. PB and Jam found two there, Jordan. Mm. Two. 
I don't even know where he was on the point. Somewhere. Close up battle. Torigo going to try and steam into that side, and it has worked out okay. PB and Jam does get a pick early on in the beast on to Special Kid, but not Predators. I've got the Primal Rage out there from Joker, and Alter Ego have to deal with that one. It's forcing them back. Yao Bao does pop out the self-destruct. Not much from that one. No, certainly not PB and Jam. What can we see here out of the Widow? Going to try and grapple up to the top. Probably a better spot to find some kills. Better spot to be found out is the actual answer by the opponent's tanks. And the Knock Predators will manage just to... Uh, to stabilize here, but four minutes is what they had to work with. Three minutes is where it's at right now. They just need to do this three more times, probably four, and uh, hmm, they'll be in a good position. I think that was probably the best chance, though, for Alter Ego, you know, getting that initial pick and then having a, a pretty quick steamroll in onto the point, but Knock Predators started to filter in, and now the ultimate's starting to come up for that defensive side. Makes life difficult for Alter Ego, but they'll give it another crack. They'll do their best, Elfish Guy. Noz, you can see, has that Dragon Blade ready. Decides to use it, almost doesn't need it. But as I say that, Sad Boy takes him out in the process. It's a 1v1, or a 1 for one even. You'll see the uh, the Winston on the point. Rex uh, finally going down to the Pulse Bomb. Will at least bait out that ultimate. Not sure if it was needed. The Self Destruct used on the point. We'll get that mech back, back now. PB and Jam going to go down August 9, trying to force these guys out. Does well, takes down the Tracer. And overall, another minute is wasted here by the Knock Predators. Yeah, another very chaotic fight. Both sides kind of getting something at the start. But again, Knock Predators just have their much closer respawns and that advantage is going to pay off for them. Alter Ego can't afford to be going one for one. They need to be going two for one or better even. They're going to cap out this final point and so far haven't even really gotten a tick. Haven't even really threatened this point just yet to be honest. Long Predators are holding strong. Let's try this one again. They dive out onto the back side of the point. The Transcendence comes out from Sad Boy. This time, maybe they'll be able to get a tick. This is a better push. August 9th, that Tracer going down Special Kid. Going to pop a Transcendence of his own. They found two with Oily going down first. The Mech, then the Baby Diva. August 9th back on the point. Not Predators lost a number of players, but they are so close to their spawn point. Here's the Dragon Blade. PB and Jam in combination with that Sound Barrier. That might be helpful. And now with the Winston going down for Knock Predators, this may be enough for Alter Ego to do something. Perhaps, however, Special Kid's starting to come back into this fight now. He's changed over to the Sombra. We've seen some... Quick roster swaps out from Knock Predators onto the Moira as well for Aesthetic. So that might just be a little bit more of a safer healer here than the Zen Yada. Just staying alive a little bit longer. Self-Destruct does not find anyone. They have found one tick, but that is where Alter Ego has been stalled out here by the Knock Predators. 40 seconds on the clock. They managed to stabilize once again. No ultimates ready for Knock Predators. No ultimates ready for Alter Ego. They are running out of time, however. They have one last push ready to go. And it's going to be real tough for them right now. Well, neither team has any ultimates here, so no real perceived advantage coming out. Alter Ego coming up onto the Primal Rage fairly closely, and Noz also coming up to the Dragon Blade fairly shortly. So maybe those two are going to have an impact in this round, but so far, neither team has an advantage. Onto the point goes Alter Ego. Trace trying real hard to deal damage to both of those support players on the defensive side, but doing nothing in the end. Noz comes out with the Dragon Blade. He's actually managed to find two and a half there. And this should be enough for the Knock Predators to secure the spot. I think we saw one third of a tick. Yep, one third. Uh, look, I mean, it's not the worst scenario for Alter Ego. At least they've gotten something on that second point and at times we've even seen a full hold on first mm. so they have something to play with here but it definitely is not all that scary for knock predators this is a very achievable result and a very achievable match win now they could go up three, three and zero which would almost all but secure them i think actually into the playoffs and really make the job difficult for alter ego heading into the final week overall i'm pretty confident for knock predators here ben i think it's going to be three zero and Looks like they're going to go into the quad tank, which we know does work out very, very well mm -hmm. on that first point of Hanamura. Assuming you can get into the point. Alter Ego, though, have set themselves up with something that uh, might not be too bad of a counter. They've got, uh, obviously, the Orisa Roadhog Junkrat combination. So a lot of spam damage and pick potential out of that. Uh, not Predators have changed things up, though. They've uh, swapped everything, and maybe they're going to go back onto 
dive. Maybe. <clears throat> Who knows? Maybe. So I start to lose my voice. Because that was actually quite an exciting last uh, last bit of that uh, that fight, I should say. Yep. So close, though. So close to alter ego not even being able to cap the A site. Yeah, absolutely. It really could have uh, could have gone either way there for a moment. And PB and Jam came up pretty big with uh, the Widow at a pretty crucial time. But I'm not so sure that we're always going to be seeing that come out from Alter Ego. You can't really rely on it. And again, they've changed up their composition. We've got Sad Boy now on uh, what is essentially DPS, and PB and Jam's going to be on the healer. So it's all sort of it's all sort of happening right now for Alter Ego, isn't it? They're trying every sort of combination that they can find. See if something can work, and I uh, just don't know about it, Ben. Look, it's uh, it's not been great for Alter Ego so far, and uh, we'll see if uh, what they can do here on defense up against the Knock Predators, who, as you said, looking real good here on the quad tank that they push their way through already onto the point. This is precisely where they want to fight this fight right now, going to force their way through, not even worry about that junk wrap, but. Joker has gone down first. Trace picks that one up. That's a good start. We'll see any ultimates that coalesce. It's so almost ready and used straight away, Jordan. That finds one aesthetic. Traded back, coalesce, and still going strong. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. There's the rip tire. August 9th goes down there on the Zarya. And Alter Ego will hold that first push up against the quad tank. Yeah, just not enough really done there by Knock Predators. Uh, obviously, Special Kid gets the Colossus up early, but straight as he pops it, Aesthetic does get picked off, so the healing even is still at a net loss for Knock Predators. Despite that, they do build up some ultimate charge, which is, you know, the, the sort of second win condition, obviously, for Knock Predators. They either want to get that first cap before the defensive ultimates mm -hmm. do come up, or, you know, now it's going to take them a couple of... Uh, a uh, couple of pushes here and there to build up their own ultimates. But once that happens, once you've got Earth Shatter, you've got Graviton Surge, once you've got Whole Hog, it almost feels like impossible. Nice to little self-destruct comes out. Doesn't find anyone, but Rex has gone down very early now to Joker. The Graviton Surge is ready to go. There it is. Wow. Used. That's going to be a ton of damage. They all go down. Sad Boy, I think, in the middle of that, did use the Rip Tire but yes, must have uh, been picked up. Six minutes 15 is where the clock is at. And they only need 40.5%. That was a really nice ultimate from August 9th. They're gonna continue this train rolling onto the second point. Two, two, chugga, chugga, big red knock nice. predators train car thing. I don't know, PB and Jam out here with the transcendence, but they've already lost one. Oh. The Earth Shredder comes out, Hit doesn't no really find anyone. However, that's not great. Bazao Bao now on the point with Trace. Not much you can do with this one. Jumps up in the air. Don't know if he was trying to pretend that he had a self-destruct, but the end result is not going to be great. You can hear the Riptide coming out. That's Joker there who goes is. down, but it does not matter. On Hanamura, the Knock Predators are too strong. And overall, the Knock Predators are too strong. They are now 3-0 yeah. and zero in this match. A match that they have won up against Alter Ego. Absolutely. That's great news for Knock Predators. And it, like I said, puts them in a really good position here now, heading into the playoffs where they should be able to qualify for it, firing some sort of crazy scenario occurring with uh, some sort of jam matches and Alter Ego matches and that kind of thing. But yeah, great work from Knock Predators. I thought that this was going to be a fairly close match. And at the end of the day, it hasn't necessarily turned out to be hasn't. that. It, it no. seems like the roster changes are hitting Alter Ego harder than expected. Yeah, roster changes are tough. And to be fair, we've probably seen more roster change, changes in this season of Australian contenders that we'd expect to see in season two. Yep. Like as these teams start to form, as these teams start to settle, yep. a lot of the players were like, they'll try, they wanted to find their way into a contenders team, but maybe that team didn't suit them for whatever reason. Personalities can clash, can take a while to find that. And it, I guess it's it's even more of a an issue when you're going up against some of the better teams in the region where really it can come to a head very early on, right? If personalities yeah. don't fit, things aren't going your way, it's very it's very quick to go, hang on, this doesn't work and boiling pot where you can 
find that out. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm a big in, in Contender Season 2 that we do get to see a, a little bit more stability out of a, some mm. of these teams. Obviously, uh, it does lend itself to perhaps a little bit of a stronger competition, but, you know, that takes time, and th this is kind of the first real stable kind of uh, competition that we've had in the Oceanic region for uh, Australian Overwatch in general. Uh, I mean, there's been, there's been things here and there, but nothing you know, this uh, to this extent, I suppose. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I mean, obviously, Alter Ego, they've had their players poached essentially throughout this entire season, season by, 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 better, by better teams. Uh, and that's just the nature of it, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe they're going to come back swinging in uh, Contender Season 2. Maybe they can still get a map here off Knock Predators, though I think it's going to be a tough ask. Well, if it's going to be a map, we want to find out what it is. So let's go and take a look at what our fourth map will be Junker Town, my favourite Elfish guy, yep. favourite map in the whole world. <laughs> Is it really? Well, look, it's not my favourite map to play, it's my favourite map to watch. All right. Does that count for something? Yeah, I guess it does, given that we're here to watch and not play. Uh, Probably for the best. Not Predators though, I don't think it really matters what uh, map they were going to be getting on here. I think they're going to be comfortable with either Junker Town or Dorado. Alter Ego, you know, they have to pick something I suppose, and so We'll see how they go. I'm probably expecting to see Knock Predators even almost start off on the attack here, I think, because they felt quite comfortable attacking on hybrid, but no, they decide to go on to the defense. Oh no, they're on the attack. It's okay. It's okay. So uh, yeah, that's fair enough, I think, out from uh, from Knock Predators. Are we ready to see the, the pirate ship? Mm, I don't think so. Yar. Do you like that? That's not what Hanzo sounds like. Yar. Imagine if you could do a Hanzo pirate act. What would a Japanese pirate sound like if they said Yar? I'm not I don't even going to try it because it's probably going to end badly. I don't doubt that for a second. Oh. Well, the Battle of the Widows starts off early and August 9th comes out with the first of uh, potentially a few victories here. Let's we'll oh, wow. see how this progresses out on Junker Town. Obviously, that resurrection did come on out. But now August 9th has been able to push through very far here on the Widow. PB and Jam forced off the point, going down once again. That's two in a row. Very aggressive Widow play. Yeah. And it's worked out, that's for sure. Knock Predators essentially steamrolling Alter Ego at this point. The Sniper doing so much work. And Alter Ego just have to keep falling back and falling back and falling back. And they're getting picked off one by one. And the Stagger is, you know, maybe not even going to be able to come into effect for them. as. Essentially, they have to give up this first point. That's a very fast time. Yeah, August 9th actually has managed to find a number of kills and put quite a bit of pressure here as the Widow. And uh, right. there we go again. Another one, yeah. Infrasight comes out as well. Oh, I was ready for that Mercy to go down. I'm trying to bait out the Mercy. That's the, that's the best thing to do, right? If you're a Widow. Kill your opposing Widow oh, well and bait done. out the opposing Mercy. But finally, PB and Jam will take one back. Stabilize for yeah. a moment at least. It's tough. No predators just need to fall back out here. I'm not sure why they're still continuing to try and take those fights. Just wait for your respawns to come across. Now this is going to cost them a little bit more time and potentially even more if Sad Boy does get a hook across there, which he does not. No predators now have all managed to group themselves up. Look at that positioning of the Widowmaker. She is in trouble, PB and Jam, though, making things happen. Someone has to dive that. So you get the, you get your opposing widow, but inevitably you go down yourself. Not sure if that was worth. Well, we'll see the EMP coming out from Trace, along with a whole hog from Sad Boy here. Not much value out of it. No, not much value at all. They managed to hold them here, I guess, for a while. But what can you actually gain, Jordan, with ultimates at this point on the map? I'm not so sure on defense, but ultimates on attack, however, we'll see uh, Knock Predators pushing through an alter ego. Losing players across the board now. Mm, definitely. Uh, yeah, I was not necessarily too keen on those ultis used by Alter Ego either, given the fact that, you know, it wasn't even really like Knock Predators had committed to that fight at all. It was just, okay, Alter Ego, let's try and dive in and see if we can yeah. win the fight, which, yeah, I guess they did, but... At you... worst, you drop back into your spawn, your team yeah, respawns, exactly. you get healed. It doesn't take that long. Yeah. Cost Knock Predators maybe 10 or 15 seconds, but at the end of the day, it really put Alter Ego in a poor position as Knock Predators then counter-engaged and won that subsequent fight. And look at how far they've gotten. Yeah, the Alter Ego Supercharger comes out, but uh, not really going to be able to do all that much by the looks of things. Rexer drops down onto the payload. 
trying to be the one player on the team to hold this one back. Sad Boy will join him. They do, to be fair, push not Predators back. They'll have to regroup now. Oily's gone down. Still plenty of time to work with. 3.10 on the clock. As you said before, they chose to attack. So you'd like to think they have a plan Ooh. here. Good shot out from PB and Jam. Definitely getting things working a little bit better now after having a, I would say, relatively poor start to the map on the Widow. Oh, PB and Jam does have a fairly good Widowmaker, traditionally speaking. And oh, oh Aesthetic is not going to be having a fun time there at all. Noz almost gets the trade back with a counter back, or a reflected headshot, I suppose. Not quite there, though, but Aesthetic 2 from 2 lives has just been absolutely picked off there by PB and Jam and could actually happen again here. Yeah. Uh, can be quite potent. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghettios. Yep. Someone. Uh, someone needs to get on that card. And well, for Alter Ego, they were hoping it wasn't going to be not Predators. But look at that. What a change that's made. It's really just wow. routed Alter Ego. Well, you cannot afford to do that, Elfish guy. It felt like they'd stabilise, but the reality is that really big turn all the way around has a very small shortcut. Indeed it does, and Knock Predators able to take advantage of it. I'm not sure who ended up actually getting the cap through, but Man. it doesn't really matter at that point as Knock Predators will continue to push on forward. Look at the ulties they have available here. Alter Ego 2 do have a lot, but Knock Predators in a good spot, and oh, this could be a very dead mercy. Pulse Supercharger bomb. comes out along with a Pulse Bomb and a Dragon Blade. Aesthetic's gone down. PB and Jam finds one. Nods forces his way through, finds no frags, however. We've lost three and three. Make that four, should I say, now for Alter Ego here on oh. defense. PB and Jam getting a crucial kill up against Noz. Someone kill this man. He's on 14 HP. Come on. Eventually he goes down, but maybe a little bit too late there for Knock Predators as it does stall things up a bit. Oily is in trouble. Does go down. Trace is trying to stay alive. Not Predators have a ton of time to work with here on Attack Jordan 241. That's a, uh, a pretty good point to be in. To be fair, you take a look at their ultis as well. Probably have the better of it with that Transcendence ready to go. And now Alter Ego has lost Zhao Bao. Supercharger. You can hear that one being That's used Rexus. by Rex. Uh, not sure about that. Again, it's, it's not having the effectiveness, the value that you would like to see. And no Predator has just come in after it goes down, or well, essentially it was going down, and PB and Jam just not See, uh, able to get anything done with that Widowmaker. I mean, one kill, but... Yeah, well, the Knock Predator is looking very good now on attack. They should be able to force their way through. Zhao Bao picked up. There is really no one left. You can see the Mercy coming in. That's Clickbait wanting a resurrection. Not going to get a chance. 151 on the clock, Jordan. It was a great A section for Knock Predators. It was a slow B section, and then really, when you get that payload through at the end, I feel like internally, if you're Alter Ego, if that was the team I was playing on, I feel like they would just start arguing about whose fault was that, whose job mm. was that. Very frustrating thing to happen. You think you've done well, you think you're winning the fight, you're pushing forward, you're getting picks, you've got your Widowmaker there, peeking around the corner, doing a good job, and yeah, the payload gets delivered. Yep, definitely. So, not uh, not so great for Alter Ego. Like, it, it definitely could have been a better hold. But at the end of the day, it's still defendable. I mean, a minute and 51 is time in the bank for not Predators, but it's not a huge, scary kind of a time bank that Alter Ego is going to have to worry about. In saying that, though, we sort of said the same thing about Numbani, and then Alter Ego kind of got stalled up in the second phase of the map. So, we will hope to see them do a little bit better here on Payload, but realistically, they did very much struggle on the Payload phase of Numbani. And we'll take yeah. from that what you will, but it was take a little great. bit. It wasn't great, that's for sure. Yep. So we'll see whether Alter Ego can take it to the Knock Predators here. Look, the reality is if this comes to next week and the Knock Predators lose their game, Alter Ego win their game, maybe a map here makes a difference. But maybe. even then, the head to head's not very good. So, look, it's definitely a difficult position to be in if you're Alter Ego. Yeah. Made even more difficult by the roster changes we it's, spoke of before. I mean, given the fact that Alter Ego has now lost to both Knock Predators and Jam Gaming, the two teams that they are vying with that third mm. and fourth spot to, I actually almost think that it's not possible for them to get through to playoffs now. I think they're stuck in fourth. 
Because they'll be, what, one and three now? When you say stuck in fourth, you mean stuck, oh, stuck in, in fifth. fifth. Sorry, yeah. yeah. No, Predators is going to be two, three. Anyway, I have to have a look after at the standings after this, but I don't think that Alter Ego can actually make it anymore. PB and Jam jumps up. Top is the Widow, doesn't find anyone. You see that Hanzo up there as well, a little bit cheeky. But uh, Hanzos are always fun. Just want to throw out uh, Sonic Arrows, just to see where everyone is. And PB and Jam now going to go down. So that's less than ideal for Alter Ego here on attack. They're going to get caught out very, very early on our fish guy. It's a very early stack coming out from Knock Predators on defense. They've gone a long way forward and they've gone, you know what? We're going to fight this fight right here. As they should be as well. They've been winning the majority of the fight, so why not take it to Alter Ego? Nor's going very, very far forward. They're not punished for it. Sad Boy didn't have a hookup by the looks of things. And again, the Widowmaker battle goes the way of August 9th. Noz has got himself a rip tire available too. So everything in the back pocket of not Predators that they really need to hold off Alter Ego for at least another push here. Yeah, that's right. That Riptide's going to make life tough to trace it, getting out of the way. Of, uh, of the mines here from Noz, but Noz feeling uh, pretty safe for now. Finally decides to come around the back with the rip tire. Oh, that's Finds a huge rip tire. Three, three. Wow. that is massive. And uh, Sad Boy now going to be forced back, wants to use this whole hog, but in reality is you want to save from the rest of your team? No, apparently oh. you don't want to save from when the rest of your team is there. Better Instead, it's better just to jump on out and make the most of it with the... The, the nano boost, I suppose, Jordan, was not to be, however. So far, so good for Knock Predators. They've had uh, a few good fights in a row. That one definitely off the back of Noz's rip tire. That one for one finally goes the way of Alter Ego. PB and Jam then gets subsequently sniped by a special kid, so you tell me, Ben. Well, Whole Hog comes out, but not to be. Trey's going to pick up Oily. August 9th holding back here. Try and do the best they possibly can with this Widow, but forced out for now. If Recite's available, that, that is not really of very much use if there's still uh, no one else in your team. And yes, still, particularly with Special Kid and the Transcendence, uh, a great way to get onto that payload and slow things down. Infrasite comes out for Knock Predators, so they know the exact positioning here of Alter Ego. And already PB and Cham under some pressure from August 9th. He decides to go forward. Maybe that's not where you want to be. Has to fall back off, losing too much HP there. And Noz does get dropped early on in the piece, but it's sort of traded backwards and forwards. Special Kid again doing some good work to get these picks. And PB and Cham just kick him. Well, it doesn't matter in the end. The cap does come across for Alter Ego. I think we saw a body like fly across the screen there as well. A number of ultimates used there by Alter Ego, but they had the ult advantage and they managed to capture the point. They got that payload all the way through. 3.30 on the clock. Lots of time to work with in reality. Not a ton, but definitely an adequate time bank to get them through point B. So this is a good little start for them, considering how they got stuck there at the start. They cannot afford to get stuck here, however. They want to make the most of this. They want to have a really smooth streets phase. Yeah, they do need to have that because a minute 51 on that clock for Knock Predators, it's getting to the point now where Alter Ego are going to struggle to hit that even if they do have a fairly smooth streets phase. But Alter Ego are here and ready to contest and they will indeed do that. They start to make their way forward. Tracer up against Tracer for now. No one's going to win the battle. You can hear the Riptide ready to go. Going to get picked up by PB and Jam. That was a nice work. Transcendence onto the point. The Supercharger is there as well. Elfish guy, sad boy going down. Noz finds two. Great work on defense. This is going to slow the process down. Substantially indeed. Full wipe. Almost. Well, not quite. But... I got excited there. It did. Maybe still... Bit of a chase out here from August 9th, which is going to cause some problems for clickbait. And eventually does go down, so that's a big stagger out from Knock Predators. Great work again from Noz. As you said, on that junk crown, is having a pretty good time so far. Already half the way there to another rip tie. And these rip ties, so far, on average, have been pretty good coming out from Noz. Only a couple that haven't really. Uh, managed to, to get their value. Trace, here on attack, uh -oh. wants to get their most of this uh, pulse bomb. Actually does hit Oily even after getting caught out. 
<laughs> the junk rat who we can hear giggling in yeah. the background. Riptide ready to go. And they're fighting on the point. Not going to make the same mistake that Alter Ego made on defense. And now with 126 on the clock. That's really only a, a fight and a half here, Jordan. Yeah, I think this is over, Ben, to be honest, because not Predators looking really, really solid on the defense, though. Two picks, somehow. mate. Two picks, that's what you want to see. I, I don't know where he's gotten that from, but Noz going down is a pretty critical part of this defense, actually, for not Predators, especially considering he was the one that had the ulti available. So I might have spoken too soon. We're into the third phase. Literally commentator's curse. Could not that have said was. that at the worst yeah. time. But 226, so... We can see that they're not going to be able to capture it in the same time or in a faster time than what Knock Predators did. But still the potential here, Jordan, to uh, to bring this through to an overtime, to a to a second chance, I suppose. Here comes the Riptide. This time Zalbao goes down. I'm sure he'll be happy to take that one, to be perfectly honest. Just uh, as Trace goes down as well, TB and Jam, as you see on your screen, does manage to take out the Junkrat. That, so that's a good start. Infrasight ready to go as well. But they're trying to fight on the payload, trying to make this so difficult for Alter Ego. Yeah, Supercharger yeah. is the only casualty there from the self-destruct. He goes forward with 20 HP. <laughs> so brave, but eventually it does not work out for him. Still, the fight does work for Alter Ego, more or less. They're going to continue the payload push forward, but already they do have a worse time than Knock Predators. So. At best now, they're kind of hoping to get there. It even looks like in overtime, really, with a minute and 25 seconds. It's going to have to be uh, pretty much wiped next fight if they want to get this before overtime does start ticking away. It's going to be hard with both the whole hog and the transcendence, Jordan. So we'll see how they choose to play this out. And well, sad boy goes down. Rexa has managed to find Noz, who, as you can see, has swapped over to that Genji. Trace throws out. The Pulse Bomb finds no one. Zhao Bao and Clickbait ready to go with ultimates of their own. Trace goes down. Special Kid and Oily still alive, still ready to go, potentially with these ultimates. And that should force them into that overtime as you spoke of. And well, they're not even going to be needed, Elfish Guy, because the Knock Predators wipes the floor with Alter Ego. Mm. And it's going to be one last push here. Yeah, and someone from Alter Ego has dropped out as well, so... Yes, we will have a pause. Maybe? What do you what do you even do at this point? Do you do you pause? Do you go, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like for Alter Ego they've gone, you know what, I'm done. But it takes them a while to get that pause across. Inevitably they do. Uh Prediction, Zelfish guy. Is this gonna be a four zero? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a fairly safe Probably. one. Probably. And another four zero. I mean really at this point I think if I would have just predicted four zero for the entire season, I'd probably have about a eighty percent strike rate, so uh, that's just been the way it's gone, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And we don't talk about strike rate. Let's not talk about cricket at all. Yeah. At the moment, let's not talk about that ever again. So, if you are, if you're not predators, do you think that this is just a representation that they are better team overall? Do you think it's a representation of how much? these roster changes can impact yeah, these I think teams? Yeah, I think it's more the latter. Like, I mean, Knock Predators, I would have sort of put fairly close by to Alter Ego, probably even a little bit below the Alter Ego that we mm. were seeing in the first couple of weeks that we saw them play. But obviously, Knock Predators have been a little bit more stable this season. I think their progression has been pretty nice from start to finish, and they're, they're getting better and better as the weeks go on. It's just that they've ended up going up against Alter Ego in a time where there's a lot of turmoil in that Alter Ego roster. Yeah, Everything's yeah. kind of going wrong for them. And it essentially has really played into the hands of not Predators by putting them in a great spot to go through to playoffs. Uh, what the result would have been had, for week example, one, they mate. played last week or even a couple of weeks ago. Mm. I, I feel like at least would have been closer. I still, I'm not sure. I probably would actually have put Alter Ego a little bit higher than not Predators, but uh, it's hard to say, you know, without yeah. having seen those two teams play Did against each other. Did they play Masterminds in their first game? And I thought they went, didn't they? Didn't Alter Ego play Masterminds in, in round one and do okay? I think so. Well, I mean, anyway, maybe that's a confirmation we talk bias, about, but... We can talk about this after this game, I suppose. Yeah. But the game does not have very long left. We are now in to overtime. At least they have all their players on the payload ready to go. As I say that, PB and Jam goes down. Transcendent comes out. Joker's been taken out, so that is an ad is a, is a pretty big advantage now for Alter Ego, particularly with Rexa ready to oh, go. Rexa ready to go Discord with uh, the Primal Man. Rage and, well... That oh. is going to be that. It's a 4-0 knock predators over Alter Ego. 
Congratulations to Knock Predators. That is precisely the match they wanted to have today if they wanted to lock themselves in for the playoffs. Yeah, well, they certainly have done a good job of it. That's basically as good as it was going to go, really, for Knock Predators. And it's a feel-good story for them, really. As, uh, you know, I don't, now that I've thought about it a little bit more, I don't think they've essentially 100% locked themselves in. But uh, that's that's a very, very good way of going about it here. And the best they could have done today. Yeah, so yeah, that's definitely. all you can do. Put yourself in the best position possible. Mm -hmm. Feeling very good about that one if you're uh, in the Knock Predators. If yeah. you're part of Alter Ego, not a not a great way to uh, to find that one out. But yeah, those new players looking pretty good as well for mm. Knock. I mean, August 9th, pretty impressive on the Tracer. Had some nice picks with Pulse Bombs and just generally some good play. And then obviously on the Widowmaker as well. Really took it to PB and Jam, who we know is uh, quite a strong Widowmaker yeah. in his own right. So overall, uh, I'm pretty impressed with, uh, with August 9th. And obviously Joker coming into that roster as well. Didn't really see any big major concerns in terms of like uh, coordination between the tanks or anything like that. So it does seem to be working uh, okay for Knock Predators. It's hopefully going to be a good scenario for them. If, if you're going to get playoffs. good, you want to get good when it's time for you playoffs. Peak so now. That, yeah, they're, yeah, they're coming through at their peaks. So uh, mm. maybe it's just a matter of Alter Ego not being in their in their best position right now, not, not really ready, or we'll have to wait and see how next week plays out for them, however. So let's go and take a look at today's schedule as we recap where we've been so far. 4 0, zero 4 Firstly, Darksided and TM, then Alter Ego and Knock Predators. We have one more match coming up today, Elfish Guy. Kanga Esports up against Serenity. Now, these two teams are essentially the same position yep. as that match that we just saw. They are both very close. They're four and five, I think, in their group. Yep. So uh, both playing to uh, lock in a spot for playoffs for them. Three positions, I think, already locked in for Group A. Definitely, yeah. Three positions. I mean, Legacy is not going to be dropping out of third place, and it really that match is going to decide what our rankings look like for Group A. That's going to be the last one that, that really matters, aside from obviously first and second there between Blank Blue and Dark Sided. Mm -hmm. But it's going to lock in the top four for that group. So it's a, it's a huge match between Kanga and Serenity. Well, we are two down, one left to go. It's going to be Kanga Esports up against Serenity. Coming to you right after this break.